Sporting Park in Kansas City, Kansas tonight. The New England Revolution here for their second leg of the Eastern Conference semifinal battle with Sporting Kansas City. Thanks for tuning in. It is, and back in that left back is Darius Barnes. He did well in that first leg. They'll need his size and speed to counter a physical front line for Sporting. Rosell, he wreaks a lot of havoc and plays great defensively, but he's also a perfect link between the backs and the front line. Goalkeeper Jimmy Nielsen is bouncing, and we are underway. Long ball angled by Lee Wynn, flicked forward by Juan Agadello. Sapong. Barnes took away cleanly according to the referee. Win. Bongo. Agadello. Has sight of goal. Takes a shot that's deflected. It goes just over the bar. It will be a corner kick for New England. That's a huge play. Starts with Darius Barnes winning that first tackle. Agadello just picks up his head. Nobody's going to pressure him. Goes off to flexed off to Beasler for the corner kick. Oh, here the Revs lead by a goal on aggregate. As Sinovic gets forward, he can put in a good cross, and he does. Danger here, and a save by Reese, and he covers the rebound. Dom Dwyer nearly tied the series. Look at that guy. That's just unbelievable. Matt Reese again with those cat-like reflexes that come up with a huge save. Did it. Did it in game one, coming up huge in here. That's what they need. They need their veteran keeper to make saves like this just to keep this team in the game. But when you give Dom Dwyer a free header, look at that, it's right on that far post, right on that right side. Great, great first rebound and good cover up by Matt Reese. Jay Heaps, Beasler so confident, steers it forward on the dribble then finds the feet of Failhaber who turns, plays Nagamura long touch in the space. Has Sapong who's offside now. Rides the challenge of Barnes. No call from the referee. Looked like Nagamora lost his own feet. Fans don't like it. The fans are refereeing the game. The refs would be in big trouble. Here, here we see it. Barnes just getting a good spot. Nagamora's already coming down. And now Kansas City has scored. Aurelia and Colin again. A huge blow to New England right now to let Kansas City come back into this game. Myers with a great long ball. Revs can't clear it off their own defender. Again, the defender, really and Collins, scoring the goal again to keep Kansas City alive. Here we just see loose marking, not being able to make that play to get it out of that box. And Kansas City's coming back again on the offensive. And Kansas City is trying to come back again, and they win it again in midfield. Russell. Offside flag goes up, cleared. Meyer serves it in. Oh, it falls dangerously off the line. The follow-up beaten away by Reese again. Kansas City nearly took the lead in the series. Now the Revs look to hit on the break. Rowe. Now Fagundes. Numbers even momentarily. Rowe gets to the end line. Three revs in there. Kellen cuts it back. It wasn't the ball the revs needed, but it's picked up now. Fagundes crosses. Little knotted header by Myers. The field is open. And Myers puts a great ball in the box there. Matt Reese with save number one. Benny right there, diving lunge just to block that post. Matt Reese with save number two. Revs dodge another, another tough bullet. Free kick for the revs. Kellen Rowe will take it. Barnes is forward, but Salvas is not. Oh, good ball inside volley, and the Revs have one! Unreal! Dimitri Bago! The Revs go back ahead on aggregate. Wowzers! All it takes is one. We said they had no shots on goal, no chances, and all it takes is one. Great ball right to that back post. And Bongo with that side volley just overpowers the keeper with a blast from about six yards out. Look at this, he breaks free. Oh, side scissors. Unbelievable balance and great technique just to side volley this thing, this thing in. 
again, just rams it right on past Nielsen, who just right in his own goal. Even if he caught it, it was still going to be a goal. 20 appearances in the regular season as Agadello got low there on Sinovic. Certainly a foul. Barrett, loads of experience. The former Chicago, Toronto, and L.A. man won a championship in the Galaxy two years ago. He was actually with the Galaxy when they won last year, but he was on loan in Scandinavia. Flick on by Zuzi, a good one. Sinovic shoots and scores! The former Rev ties this thing up! Well, you have to say the unlikeliest of goal scorers, but it was a laser. It was an absolute unbelievable finish. Just perfect shot by him. You can see it. He just comes through, sneaks behind Chad Barrett there on that left side. Got caught cheating forward. Just a great overlapping run. An absolute perfect bomb of a shot right to Matt Reese's far post. Sonovic, who never scored a goal in an MLS regular season game. And now the Revs look like they're a little bit against Bieler. Good dribbling skill from the Portuguese center back. And then he finds the feet of Rowe, touches it into space. Fagundes on side. Two on two opportunity here. Fagundes shoots. Oh, he grazed the top of the crossbar. Really the joint, the post in the bar. Agadella made a good run. What do you think, Jeff? Best option there to shoot? No, not with the speed that he's coming at, at, at Beasler right now. He's he should take him on again at the end of the day it, it did raise that upper 90 but how fast he's coming in there final minute of stoppage time here series tied 3-3 casey pressing for a winner here zeus he gets around the rookie they wanted a foul play on oh open player here nagamora shoots and goes wide that would have been a series winner there by paolo nagamora it was a good play on by mark geiger it was he gave him the advantage he kind of Revolution are still going to complain about that ball where they thought Kellen Rowe was fouled earlier, which turned it over. Here's an on-call on Rowe. Failhaber and Rossell coming in. Rose, Rossell has his right elbow and the leg in there. But then Kansas City, they don't care. They quickly go with a lot of numbers either. Nagamore just picks up his head, decides a side footer to that wide open back post. Failhaber. Weaving. Gets a fortuitous bounce, gets to the end line, cuts it back, Gonsalves is there, still not clear, and he just gets enough on it to get it out of the box where Lee Wynn is able to steer it wide for Farrell. Susi continues the outside run, long touch, Barnes slides in, Susi's good looking cross in, Sapong goes down, off his chest and over for a goal kick. Still extremely dangerous. 101 minutes into this game. Darius Barnes lunging out for it. Sapong gets good inside body position. Just a little too high for him to try to get that head going down. Revs with some possession here. Wide for Farrell. Now win. Agadello touches it in. He's in on the keeper. He shoots. Great save by Nielsen. Next to the goal. That's the best chance of the night by the Revs. Agadello disbelieving, still down in the area. The Revs trying to put another attack together, but Agadello's in an offside position. Here's a chance by Agadello. Great touch to the inside. Nielsen makes himself pick. He does. He feels it comes out well. Agadello has, still has time. He's a little bit off balance. Goes for that near post. Maybe could have cut back across and found a wide open Diego Fagundes in the middle, but Keeper does extremely well. He's watched a great game for 100 and some minutes. And now he's called into action and does great with it. Reese will send it out to Fagundes. Ooh, good read there by Benny. Failhaber driving towards the area. Cuts it back. The touch is in. Kansas City takes the lead in extra time. And it's Claudio Bieler, his first goal since September. This place has just erupted, Jack. It is. New England's going to look back at this and just wish I had held on to that ball. Again, the decision to throw out wide, not a good attempt to come after the ball. Baylor's unmarked dead center just flicks the ball on. 
Here it is. Give Benny Failhopper credit. He steps in, wins that first tackle, picks up his head, drives down, and then a low ball dead center to a wide open field. Just a great first time left footed flick. Well, the story in the papers will be the return of the prodigal son, Claudio Bieler. The crowd whistling to try to induce the ref to blow for full time. Farrell under pressure. Wide for Rowe. Good pass. And that is the end of the series. The Revs unable to hold the lead they came into town with. They fall 3-1 on the night, 4-3 on aggregate.